This video is on car insurance in Canada, non-residents versus residents. I did a Google search on this topic and got about 175 million results. We're uh, taking a look at the first page of those re results here. The first page we're going to look at is information for non-residents. Now, on the information that I could find, um, most insurance companies in the U.S. will uh, also cover you if you're going over to Canada. You need to call your individual insurance company and make sure that's the case. Uh, and this site is from angloinfo.com. This is uh, visitors and non-resident information for Canada. Uh, here that you can look at and then the next page here is also from angloinfo.com this is information for residents of Canada here as well and then the last page here is a web form a trip advisor uh, some people were asking about uh, the requirements for insurance in Canada. You can take a look at those. But your first step would be to contact your uh, insurance company before you plan your trip to Canada. Make sure that your insurance is uh, uh, valid in Canada and that way you won't have to get any extra insurance. But you'll need to speak with your agent about that to make sure that you're covered. If uh, they don't cover you, I can tell you uh, the process for getting uh, coverage for a non-resident. If you want to take a look at any of these sites on your own, just make a note of the URL in the address bar and you can go right to them and look at them at your leisure. This has been a video on car insurance in Canada, non-residents versus residents. I encourage you to click on the link in the description beneath this video for more information and great quotes. I hope this video helps you out and have a great day. Bye-bye.